Yeah, welcome back and I'm Nehal and in this video we're going to be talking about uh, what are editors and type of editors and uh, the IDE that is the integrated development environment and uh, at last we're going to be downloading the PyCharm which is one of the famous IDE for Python. Okay, so let's get started. So basically what is editor? Okay, so in the previous, in the previous uh, video we have seen how to install Python, right? And now we're going to be uh, seeing uh, talking about the editors now editors is nothing but where you write your code okay so as as we have seen in the last video like uh, it was about the installation of python and all and i said you about that of uh, the ide which comes along with the python so it was where you can write your python commands and all okay you can write your simple code and all but talking about the editors and all so you can even make use of these editors and most commonly used editors are the notepad and the notepad plus plus and the atom sublime so these are nothing but the editors where you, where you can write your code okay so uh, yeah we can even use any of these editors right but talking about uh, if you're working on the live projects and all so there you are not going to simply working on this uh, with this simple stuffs and all like uh, print this or print a number or something like this we're going to be working on something big like uh, you may create your own application and all so in that scenario you need an IDE. Okay, now what this IDE stands for? It stands for Integrated Development Environment. All right. And when we say uh, that uh, 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 this IDE, so this IDE is nothing but it is a place where you can actually write your code. You can run it and even debug it. Okay. So this is the entire uh, uh, IDE. This is the environment. Okay. So we're going to be working with uh, this IDE and the most commonly and the famous IDE for Python is the PyCharm. Yeah. There are many more uh, uh, to this, uh, the IDEs, okay? There are many more IDEs. And one of the uh, common uh, IDEs for the uh, Python we are going to use is the PyCharm, all right? So let's quickly see like uh, how we are going to install this uh, PyCharm on our machine, okay? So we'll head over to our favorite browser, okay? And we'll write here JetBrains, okay? You can see here, okay, this JetBrains uh, and uh, this JetBrains is nothing but it is a company which comes up with the IDEs, okay? It has developed uh, many IDEs, the famous IDEs. You can see uh, it's written over here, the PyCharm, the IntelliJ IDEA, and more IDEs it has installed, that is Android Studio and WebStorm. So this is the most famous company that uh, deals with the development of the IDEs, okay? So you can head over to this uh, JetBrains website, and here you can click on this PyCharm. You can see this, okay? Now, in this, you can see uh, this download option. So, simply click on it and you will see here it is written that download PyCharm. So, this is for Windows. My system is a Windows. So, I'm uh, definitely going to download for the Windows version. Okay. And if you are on uh, Macs or Linux, so you can choose the various op uh, options from here depending upon your uh, PC. Okay. Computer. All right. So, in Windows, uh, you can see here it is a professional version and it is a community version. Okay. So, you can see here it's a. Uh, 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 the professional was version uh, it's like uh, you need to pay some amount uh, to the jet brains and you can uh, just download it from here but for as for now we are going to download this community version okay and it's pure and open source so simply click on it and you can see that it's getting downloaded okay so just be patient and uh, that's it it has downloaded okay so i'm going to double click on it it's asked for the permissions so say yes okay so you can see your uh, pycharm community edition setup okay simply say next okay so this is the destination folder it's where your uh, pycharm will get installed okay say next okay so the next option comes over here is for yeah my uh, desktop is of 64 bit this so i'm going to click on it and i'm also going to uh, check box this that it simply says that when it detects any of the file with the extension dot py it's simply you're going to open through this pie charm so it's up to you you can uh, unbox uh, check this out or no it depends upon you but as for now i'm going to uh, check it check this in okay so say next and click on the install you can see here on my desktop it's getting installed okay so pie charm is something like it gives you a platform okay it gives you an environment where you can write your code and all debug it it's quite easy to write your python code on pycharm and in the entire uh, the series we're going to be using this uh, pycharm to write our program and to work on with the different uh, uh, 
uh, even you can use this uh, uh, for creating your uh, applications and all on the complex applications and all so pycharm is quite famous ide for the python okay all right so it says that the uh, the setup has been updated okay so simply say finish okay so you can see on my desktop okay uh the uh this pycharm has got installed simply double click it say okay all right so yeah it says uh, you can see this so uh, welcome to pycharm okay it's written over here so you can simply say new project you are going to make a new project you can give the title over here so i say first project all right so click on create it's loading your first project okay As for now, just don't uh, bother about this. Just uh, say close. All right. So you can see over here, your this is at the left hand side. This is your first project, okay. And inside this, uh, Python uh, PyCharm has uh, already created a uh, uh, your Python file, okay. Uh, if there is uh, this Python file is not created automatically, you can simply just click on this, okay. You can see uh, say new, and you can click here Python file. Okay, you can give the name as hello and it will simply create a Python file and you can write your code over here. But for as for now, it was already created by the by PyCharm. So I'm not going to work over here. So simply say, I will close it and yeah, delete it so as to avoid the complexity. Okay, so yeah, so this is our first uh, project and inside this PyCharm has already created a main dot py this is a python file and it is given you ha have given you some of the uh, dummy code you can say so as for now i will delete this okay and as you have learned up uh, uh, in the last uh, my video we have seen about how to work with print okay so we are simply going to uh, write that print statement okay so welcome the psq okay all right so simply save it by control s and there are three ways to run it okay we will see that so you can first run from here so i say run me all right so it says welcome to wsq okay you can even run from here okay so this is a run button all right it says and one more way is like you can just click on on the screen and you can say run all right so these are the ways you can run your python so I hope you are quite uh, now you have understood uh, about what is IDE and all. So this makes it quite simple and easy to write your Python code. Next video we will be talking, uh, we will be working with this uh, PyCharm. All right. So I hope you have enjoyed the session and uh, yeah, please subscribe to this uh, uh, WS Cube Tech uh, English channel. And if you like this video, just click the hit hit the like button. Okay. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.